Hello, my name is Alistair. I'm the VP of Product Engineering at Codeplay Software. This means that I oversee the development of Codeplay's in-house products and much of our standards bodies involvement. Those products enable us to deploy an AI stack on RISC-V based accelerators and vector hardware. And for the next 10 minutes, I'll introduce how we do this via our implementations of open standards. Codeplay is based in Edinburgh, Scotland with around 80 staff, mostly engineers working on open standards projects. Our goal is to make AI and HPC open and safe to everyone by contributing to open standards and participating in open source projects. The company designs and implements programming models, compilers and tools for multiple vendors. I'm going to talk about how our teams are bringing together open standards and open source technologies to enable complex applications for RISC-V vector processors and how this can be adapted for a wide variety of specialist silicon architectures. AI and HPC applications require the processing of massive data sets. Fortunately, these operations can be executed efficiently in processors that are designed to allow many common operations to run in parallel across many cores. Currently, this often means GPU architectures, but companies are also looking at ways to develop more specialized processors to tackle the performance challenges of modern AI applications. RISC-V is a well-defined open ISA and there's already collaboration around creating tooling for it. It's gaining huge momentum with CPUs, but increasingly there are companies who are developing accelerator processors based on RISC-V. In the accelerator space, vector extensions are a strong choice for providing high performance, dense compute for the data parallel workloads found in AI. It provides a range of scalable vector operations, which map well to accelerator programming models, as those are already designed to target arbitrary levels of data parallelism. The vector extension alone, however, does not make an acceler accelerator. We also need the offload concept where the host CPU offloads work to multiple RISC-V cores that are part of the accelerator. In this diagram, you can see how the CPU is used as part of a heterogeneous architecture to offload the parallel execution of the instructions and data to the accelerator processor. There are already existing programming models for these architectures, such as SQL, OpenCL, and Vulkan. SQL and OpenCL are open standard APIs that enable code for heterogeneous accelerators. We have a data parallel offload model that is of course well suited to GPUs, but is also a great match to RISC-V accelerators and vector instructions. Copley has long been involved in helping to define SQL and OpenCL, and being open standards, they are philosophically a good match to RISC-V. They are mature programming models for mapping algorithms to data parallel hardware and we enable developers to target new hardware using well-understood approaches. Onyx is a cross-vendor open neural network model format that is well suited to accelerator programming models. There are already multiple backend implementations of Onyx, and Copley is working on a SQL backend that I'll use as a motivating example for the rest of these slides. BGG is a classification neural network. You give it an image and it classifies it. For example, here we give it we give the network a picture of a dog and it tells us a breed. There are newer approaches to this and we support some of those networks too, but for this presentation we'll keep things relatively simple. At the end of the talk there will be a link where you can download a pre-alpha version of our RISC-V port of Akaran. With this you can run VGG16 and ResNet50 Onyx models on RISC-V using the Spike simulator. The graphic in the slide shows how an image is passed through the various stages of the neural network, using different operations at different stages. It gives you an idea of what happens to the data as it, as it travels on its journey to classification. This executes using the SQL backend in Onyx, so now we'll talk about how we compile these algorithms to RISC-V vectors. This graphic shows how different parts of the Akran platform fit together how it sits on top of accelerator hardware, and how we can develop things such as an Onyx runtime on top of that. Akaran provides both the ability to implement open standards such as SQL and OpenCL on a range of accelerator devices, and a range of pre-written open source acceleration libraries. We provide a driver interface API to allow us to support a wide range of such accelerators, including those based on RISC-V. 
so the Onyx SQL backend is developed on top of this. It makes use of the SQL DNN and SQL Blast libraries to accelerate key algorithms and then generic SQL code to connect those together. This is portable because the Akran stack provides translations at each abstraction level. Clearly there is a lot in this diagram to get Onyx models running on RISC-V accelerators, from graph scheduling to memory movement. But as this talk is about running AI models on vector instructions, we'll look at that part directly for the next few slides. So here on the left, we have a one line SQL kernel that does a vector addition. This is the hello world of accelerator programming. The fundamental concept of a kernel in an accelerator programming model is that this is executed many times in parallel, each instance operating on a different index, which we simplify to the IDX variable in this example. On the right, we visualize how we use whole function vectorization in the compiler to map a set of parallel indices to conceptual vectors. This transformation is done as a compiler optimization so that the backend can then generate vector instructions. Now we take the same vector addition kernel and show assembly for it. In the listing on the left, we can see how this is compiled to scalar instructions. There is a loop and each iteration handles one instance. On the right, however, we can see how this is compiled using vector instructions. There is still a loop, but each iteration executes many instances of the kernel. This is not loop vectorization, this is whole function vectorization, which is provided as part of the Akran platform. SQL fundamentally has a data parallel execution model for code that runs on an accelerator. This means that the compiler doesn't need to find the parallelism, it is inherently part of the program. Whole function vectorization can be applied to arbitrarily complex kernels. In this example, we add some control flow to the vector addition example to clamp the result to positive numbers. The assembly shows how we use vector selection to execute the correct control flow path per instance of a kernel across vector instructions. The result of the vector addition is stored in register V8, the control flow gets linearized, and the result of the conditional is stored in register V0. The V merge instruction is then used to select the correct result per vector lane. We can keep on applying techniques like this for any code pattern, including those with memory operations, building up to support more and more complicated kernels. But as this is a 10 minute presentation, we'll skip many levels of complexity to reach the algorithms that implement the layers in our VGG example. The assembly for those layers wouldn't fit in a slide, but we can apply the same vectorization concept from the last two slides to those algorithms. For the VGG example, we use the Onyx runtime to map the various layers to existing primitives in our SQL DNN and SQL Blast libraries, and also the C++ standard template library. These vectorize in the same way as the vector addition examples, again, because of the fundamental data parallelism in the SQL programming model. By taking advantage of that, the whole function vectorizer in Akaran can be much more aggressive than a loop vectorizer and can vectorize through multiple levels of control flow. This means we're not limited to exploiting parallelism on inner loops, but to have a full compute kernel data parallelism available to us. So to close, hopefully this talk has given an overview of how neural networks can be accelerated on RISC-V vector architectures, and an idea of how SQL and the Akron platform can be used for that. Building an open standard such as SQL allows for a lot of collaboration in the open source ecosystem, making use of existing work such as the Onyx runtime. It also provides developers using your hardware with a well-understood programming model so that they can continue to extend the ecosystem of themselves. Finally, we have a demo of VGG16 and the ResNet50 networks running on RISC-V vectors using our Akron platform. If you would like to try out that demo, you can download the initial RISC-V vector port of our Akron stack where you can try out those Onyx models running on SQL, making use of the RISC-V vector extensions via the Spike simulator. Also, if you would like to find out more about our technology, you can visit our booth or you can read about our RISC-V and ecosystem partnerships on our website. Thank you for your time.